Oh my gosh, what is this? We are enjoying what Sassy Mama is making, and you can too because she's going to teach us her great recipes. Oh my gosh. First off, we need to finish up what we were making yes. earlier, this ziti, cheesy ziti soup. Yes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some ricotta cheese. I've added some more of that sofrito in there, and then I went ahead and I grated, oh, about a half a cup of fresh Parmigiana Reggiano cheese in there. Mm, nice. Okay. And then what I'm going to add oh. is I'm going to add about a cup of mozzarella. Stir that together, and so when your soup is done, you will just ladle it out, and then I add a scoop of this in it, oh. and it kind of melts inside your soup. So it's almost like my lasagna soup, but it's kind of like a cheesy rigatoni oh, wow. soup. Yeah, yeah. That sounds and amazing. kids love it. Everybody loves it, and you can double and triple this recipe and feed a lot of your family members. And just real quick, because if you cook it in the slow cooker, when do you add the pasta, the cooked pasta? The last hour. Do you cook gonna... it ahead of time or no? No. Nope. Okay. If you cook it ahead of time, you can just add it in and let it cook there for 30 minutes. You don't even have to let it cook for an hour because it's pre-cooked. You're just okay. rewarming it. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is then you've got to do garlic knots. Of course. So I just go and I buy pizza dough okay. at uh, the grocery store and I cut it in half and then I'm going to cut it in half again and I'm going to make 12 basically As pieces. As you do that, the recipe on the screen says homestyle biscuits, two cans. Okay. Do you want to do that or do you want to do the well, pizza? Well, let me show you. Okay. You can also, that's why I brought I this out here. I think that's what I would do. You I'm can just... do biscuits. Okay. The biscuits you just cut in half. You don't get this quite as many, and I like the pizza dough better. But biscuits is a great little cheat. Okay. You can, but don't get the flaky biscuits. You can that pick doesn't up work. Pizza dough at your favorite pizza place too. Yeah, all absolutely. I do, I'm do that. Yeah. yeah. And you just cut it's it in easy. half, and cheap. this, this, yeah, cheap. I'm gonna give it to you. This is how you make garlic knots. Uh, you, you make literally knot it. A <laughs> knot. <laughs> Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You just make knots. Let me have one of those. No, 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 you don't want to eat that. Did you take it's your not picture, dough. I have, I, I have, you, you can, you can go ahead and get in it. And then okay. what you're going to do is I use margarine. The only thing I use margarine oh. for is garlic knots, it seems oh. like. You're I right add in there? some more garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. No, I'm no good. seriously, David. Come on, good like, for the rest of my I'll life. Do I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's gonna like having a beer together. Okay, so what do we do with the margarine? Yes, and the margarine I just pour all over the top and then cover it again. It is so yummy. I and like it better raw. I'm just going to say. Oh, this is so good. I'm kidding. Really good. Those They're are really so good. so yummy. They are good. And uh, biscuits work great, and so mm. does pizza dough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Italian Caesar, are you using that, the stuff that you showed us before that? Uh, I use sofrito, or I, I could just use Italian seasoning. It's all the same, honestly. I just, Word. the sofrito is just more a little of. little olive oil, a little oil you could. Oh, no, I, little, honey, I'll do butter or anything. margarine all over oh, there. Oh, a little marinara. Little. We dip in here. We really? Yeah. That's you can dip yeah. this in yeah. marinara. This is the perfect food, That's too, good. for cold weather. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. cold? This would be perfect this to is, hunker this down in. This is a seven-degree high. 